Here's the deal. Lisa and I were up late looking for flights going from Krabi, Thailand to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Just so happens I found the cheapest flight leaving on February the 27th, which is when we were supposed to leave. Um, when we got to the airport though at five o'clock in the morning looking to be able to board our flight, there wasn't any flights for us. And when they looked at it further, I actually booked not for uh, February the 27th, but for March the 27th, putting me out by about a month. So we thought, let's switch, switch the flights. Switching a flight was more expensive than actually just getting new flights and forgetting about the other flight. Um, and Lisa didn't want to do that, so she said, let's just book a car or get on a bus and go through Southern Thailand. It'll be really fun. Into Malaysia. I looked at the travel advisories. It's not cool there. Lots of unrest. Pretty sketchy. So I insisted. She wasn't really happy with me. Pushed her way through. Got a flight going to Kuala Lumpur, but it wasn't another win for Bryn. Let's just put it that way. And uh, we weren't exactly feeling super cozy around each other. So Lisa won a booking flights. Bryn, zero. for Malaysia. Stay in Malaysia and we were trying to figure out what to get. Let me show you. We have like a gajillion choices. It's all like two bucks or a dollar or something like that. For six plates it costs us 10 bucks. Malaysia is like really clean. Way cleaner than Thailand, I think. The food is good, but so far, I like Malaysia. So we're gonna head out and get ourselves a SIM card for my phone. We'll tell you how much that costs in a minute. For unlimited um, internet, plus a new number, yeah. it came to 45 ringgit, which is you divided by three. Yeah, it's exactly, oh, 15 bucks for the whole month. What's your new place? We're on the 15th floor. This is the entrance to all the apartments. These all go down to the next level. Yeah. So, right here we have number one. This one. Very nice. We have five bedrooms, kitchens. Laundry rooms on the other side of that. Your room? Our bedroom. Which is right here, looking out over the city. Deck, and then we got the security camera. Here's the view. You like their new house? Yes. You do? We're staying. We're staying up there in apartment, whatever it is, 15th floor. Uh, it's actually only four up because we are oh, yeah? 11 stories up from the ground level, which is down there on this building. But I got way too much sun today. That's like 11 stories up. Crazy. In this building that we're staying in, in addition to a rooftop terrace reading your dinner, on the 11th floor, we've got a playground for the kids. Way down the way, like I've been showing you, is we've got our pools, there's three pools. There's a sauna and steam room and the guys and the girls' bathroom, plus showers and stuff on this level. And then you get like this crazy, spectacular sunset view behind us right now, which is unbelievable. And we got all of this for about $21 a night. And Morgan, are you wanna come? She wants to, but she doesn't know if she can. And if yeah. it was just a vomit, we'd bring a bag, but if she's not sure where she's come from, she needs to bring a change of clothes, and it would just be messy on public transport. So, there you have it, day in the life of tripping on a dime in Southeast Asia. All right, welcome everybody to our Kuala Lumpur Adventure Day. We're gonna be going and riding public transport all the way into downtown Kuala Lumpur, taking the MRT line. Adventure number one is crossing four lanes of freeway traffic to be able to get there. Morgan is not feeling well right now and hopefully she'll be feeling a lot better by the time we get to the 
downtown area, but we've brought a change of everything for everybody, so we should be fine. Talk to you guys a bit. We've crossed the first four lanes of traffic. Gonna get across over there to our MRT line right here. Here we go. Made it this far. Go. Look at the size of that burning mess down there. Obstacle one is now complete. We are over the freeway. Feels like we're going in from AC into an oven, doesn't it? It's like so much warmer now. The cool thing is they got these walkways going on. So you don't have to walk outside in the heat. And they're all air conditioned, which is awesome. So instead of walking through the crap hot areas, you don't have to wait for lights or anything. It's just like a walkway above all the pathways above the roads beneath us, which is so cool. So this is an interesting mall. They've got Tom Ford, Rolex, Gucci. We're a little overdressed, I'd say, for shopping in this mall right now. Sushi for two bucks. Dylan's got his dollar hot dog on a bun. Yeah, it's like dumping rains. Coming to a little bit of a snag right now. Drone bags and everything like that are soaking wet. August is loving it. Just trying to make it back to the monorail station so we can get back to the main station so we can get back to our place. This mall right now looks straight up. The You want to go swimming when we get back to the hotel? Yeah, do that. We can do that, yeah, sure. Do you like being wet out here? Of course, bud. Of course, bud. <laughs>